I can remember having a discussion um, uh, about a year ago with uh, a number of senior leaders when we began to ask that type of question. How do we know, in fact, who is conducting the attack? And I think uh, there again, uh, I think this was a point that uh, uh, was, was addressed in, in the testimony of the potential Cybercom CG. Um, you know, how, do we have some way of getting at that? In many cases, yes. Um, uh, in, in many cases, then question, what is the response? You know, that, 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 that question, I think, is an interesting one because it's all about are we really under attack or are we just kind of, you know, is this a nuisance? Uh, and I don't know that those, if you will, that framework in terms of rules of war with respect to cyber have been clearly identified. Now, are we trying to get at that through a number of exercises and, you know, basically getting from the Department of Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, uh, you know, this whole thing called Cybercom, some concept of that through exercising TTPs and doing tabletop exercises, we are beginning to, certainly we've been working at that for a period of time now. But to be honest with you, in terms of, uh, you know, this particular attack is a, is a uh, basically a uh, act of war, therefore we have to respond. Uh, those measures and those metrics and, and those thresholds, I would say, are very fluid right now in terms of discussion. Um, and, you know, I think it was even mentioned here before, what happens if they just do something with the water supply? Was that an act of war? Heck, you know, I don't know. Maybe it was uh, just because someone forgot to do the, the patch right, you know. But th that, that type of discussion, quite frankly, needs to be done. We are having that discussion. But I would say at this point in time, it's uh, very embryonic. With the cyber warfare situation and adversaries that run the gamut from nation states to hackers, yeah. When those attacks are launched, you really don't know uh, a priori whether that's coming from a nation state or a small hacker group or a terrorist group. In some sense, the terrorist situation now is similar. There's no, they don't carry a flag of a nation state. And, and so how you respond to those things, I agree with, uh, with General Sorensen that uh, this is an ongoing discussion. And if you watch that CNN special about a month or six weeks ago called Cyberscope or something like that, they had an exercise where they had former senior leaders around the table uh, in a simulated cyber attack, it was uh, um, some malware downloaded uh, during March Madness on a, on a cell phone and spread to the entire network and brought down the power grid. And so they're trying to figure out what do we do? Where's the attack? It's somewhere in one of the Russian republics or how do we know? How do we respond? What happens if BG&E decides to uh, cut the power from the NSA during the cyber attack to redistribute the power and now the NSA is without power? How long can they go? These are all questions. This is all new territory for all of us. And the solutions are going to be multifaceted. We have to work on treaties with allies. There's a legal problem where you've got a breach in another country in cloud computing. How do I do the forensics? Those are not things that come about with what I call silver bullet single solutions. It's got to be a all the elements of national power, as they say, have to be brought to bear to uh, work with allies and figure out good solutions. We will find those solutions. We're just not there yet. The only the one thing I'd add too is, is, is <clears throat> you know, we talk about cyber as a single word, uh, but clearly cyber has multi dimensions. I mean, there's computer network operations, computer network defense, exploitation, attack. Kind of what side of cyber are you on? Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, when we start talking about doing any sort of attack, we we talk in the army about eliminating collateral damage with our kinetic weapons. I will tell you the precision that we're going to have to basically exercise in terms of computer uh, network attacks, the precision there is going to have to be on even higher orders of magnitude because we are so interconnected with everything that taking down one particular aspect, I will tell you, we may not know what the second and third order consequences are. And that collateral damage assessment, there's a lot more in terms of, I think, analysis that needs to be done as we get to our if you will, TTPs, tactics, techniques, and procedures in terms of how we're going to do that. How do we define that? And oh, by the way, how do we basically uh, um, accept the consequences of that if, in fact, there is collateral damage? You know, quite frankly, we could have liabilities against some of our cyber attacks. I would just add that uh, I think, uh, as I said, the attacks are getting more sophisticated in the government. We are, are aware of them. Uh, so we are connected together, we all have uh, clearances and we, we can work into many, many different classifications. A lot of the stuff we can talk about is that we have to shoot you, not literally, <laughs> but, uh, but I think uh, if you would say that uh, we're aware of that, yes, the challenge is the sophistication of it. The challenge is in some instances where they're coming from 
and and some of these are jurisdictions that go outside and so there are many different things so the question is should we send them a back present or you know what what exactly <laughs> is the deal you got to we got to work that out there's also stuff that they've infiltrated uh, deep within our systems in some areas on commercial areas right off the most popular websites malware is sitting right there and so we're finding all kinds of stuff every day so how do you connect the dots together? I think it's a cyber intel problem, in my view, in the sense that we need a continuous in intel and actionable intel, which is more in the cyber world, so that we know, for example, beware of this malware, or beware of this threat, or make this patch happen, which is why the new focus is getting to that more continuous monitoring. So I think we're aware of it, but I'll just say this in some areas. We're absolutely shocked by the level of sophistication and the level of, uh, should we say, brazenness, if you would, that people are just coming and they're just feeling like they're they're Previously, they were known as ankle biters. I think they're moving up on the body. So uh, we just got to make sure that. Uh, uh, sorry for that uh, vision there, but uh, uh, but uh, they're moving up, and uh, that's what the cybersecurity thing is all about. But as they get more sophisticated, they could be more trouble because as they move up the body. Uh, I'll leave you with that thought.